Hello, hello. I hope this video finds you well. It's Motions Biz here and with another Navy Federal video. This video is just trying to understand the hype or the very well-known Navy Federal Midnight Hack. As you have learned, many, many members were approved of very high limits because they applied right after midnight and there has been a lot of talk about it on YouTube but anyway I will be sharing my personal experience with it but before we get started as always just wanted to show my appreciation for our 48 subscribers as of today so that's an achievement. I think we were at 37 and then now we're at 48. So that is a big jump and uh, I really appreciate that. So if it is your first time watching this video, I do have a playlist about business credit. And if you would watch that also and check it out, that would be great. So to all our new subscribers and the initial ones, Thank you so much. I appreciate you and thank you for being here. So here we go. I am sure you've heard a lot about the midnight hack. And I was one of them. And while browsing through YouTube, going to all the videos, uh, I came across the Midnight Hack. And I already learned about this even before I was a member of uh, Navy Federal. And so when I started building my relationship with Navy Federal, when I finally became a member, I just wanted to test it out, of course. I followed all the suggestions and how to build a relationship with Navy Federal before you actually uh, apply for their cards and products. The midnight hack basically, as everyone is talking about, is members do a pre-qualification before midnight and when they qualify for a card, they wait anywhere from 12 o'clock from what I heard until maybe like 3 o'clock in the morning or so so that's when they were saying that there was no human being you know kind of um, manning the computers to take care of the applications and so it would just be i would say maybe just an automatic or uh, maybe like an ai kind of underwriting that allows these people to get like very high credit limits Based on my experience, however, I was approved for the cash rewards visa. I actually picked like the low tier card as everyone suggested because that would be my first card with Navy Federal. And I was approved for 25000 when I was barely three months old as a member of this credit union. I do have a video about this um, experience and you can also check it out right here on my playlist and i was surprised that you know being a new member that was how generous they were but like i said i did try to build a relationship with them as per the people who have been with navy federal for a long time because they said that if you do build a relationship with them and do some gardening so to speak that you have a much better um uh, opportunity of being approved and as I'm trying to make this video a little shorter I'm trying to keep it you know under 10 minutes but it seems like I always end up going beyond that so but uh, anyway for all those who have been so patient watching my videos thank you so much for that let me share with you what my data points were before I applied for this card. So I was barely three months when I applied for this card. So anyway, this is what I did. And I call it my gardening with Navy Federal. So first, I opened a joint account with a family member who is a retired Air Force um, officer. So when I opened that joint account, 
he actually did not know how to get me into Navy Federal because I was bugging him about it. And I said, get me into Navy Federal. But instead of um, him uh, just doing a kind of a referral for me, he did not have a Navy Federal account. He was banking with USAA. So he actually had to open an account. And instead of referring me, he established a joint uh, savings and checking account because he did not know that he did not have to do that. So that was kind of a blessing in disguise, actually. Number two, I opened my own personal account. And this, I, didn't, I did not know initially that I would be able to do that. But when I went to a local branch close to me here, uh, Navy Federal, the representative, uh, the staff, actually informed me that, hey, you know, if you want, you can actually open your own uh, checking and savings account. And I did not know that. So, of course, right then and there, I opened that account, and I was so happy by then. I already had four accounts then. I had a joint account of checking and savings and my own personal account of savings and checking as well. About a week or so later, when I saw the different products that Navy Federal has, I opened an easy certificate account, and then I opened a Save First account and was making small deposits every week just to, uh, you know, have an activity in those accounts. So I've been doing transfers from all the checking and savings just to show activity and I was depositing sometimes $20, $50 until it just kept growing. It was on my fourth week, I think, that I opened a pledge loan of about $550 because I already had this amount in, in one of my savings accounts. So I applied for that over the phone and in a matter of hours, Navy Federal set me up with a pledge loan for $550. So after that, about three days later, I paid that down. Uh, I think I paid $200. So there was only $250 left. And I was making installment payments on that. That loan actually got reflected on my credit uh, reports, all three of them, very quickly. I think within a week, I already saw that in my credit. Uh, I'm a credit report. In about six weeks, I think, that's when I started directing uh, my pay uh, from my company as a direct deposit to Navy Federal. So uh, we were, I was uh, having those bi weekly uh, direct deposits to Navy Federal so they can see that, you know, that I already have a, a lot of accounts. There was a direct deposit, there is a pledge loan, there is the, the savings uh, aspect of it, also the easy certificates and the save first account. So I was just making regular deposits, moving money around a little bit. And when I thought that my account was seasoned enough, that was when I pulled the trigger. And I did a pre-qualification at around 11, something like that. And then I saw that I actually pre-qualified for all of the cards. But I picked the cash rewards. They said that was the easiest one to get to get started. So that was what I did. Uh, shortly after midnight, I applied for the card and pulled the trigger. <laughs> and uh, immediately I had the, uh, the response that said I was approved for that amount. This is what my accounts look like with Navy Federal when I did apply for uh, for the cash rewards card. And I was sure to make a, a screenshot of it because I was curious how that would work. And I just wanted to see what what my status was with Navy Federal when I did apply for that. So I had a share savings, I had an e-checking, another share savings. One is for the joint account, the other one is for my personal account and uh, an every everyday checking as well. So as you can see, I don't really have much there, but there was a lot of activity going on before I did uh, go, uh, go ahead and applied for that. I also had an easy certificates, uh, which, ha which had about maybe $380 in there. 
a save first account of about 370 and I also had a pledged loan that still had a balance of about 255. They did pull TransUnion for that credit card. And from what I understand, uh, Navy Federal pulls TransUnion for all personal credit cards and then pulls Experian for the business side. This is how my Credit Karma looked like when I applied. I also made sure I made a record of that. So TransUnion was 743 and Equifax was 748. And I know that Credit Karma uses the Vantage score. So I really had no idea what my FICO score was at that time. So I will actually start to um, monitor my credit also on my FICO as has been recommended by a lot of um, folks on YouTube who said that uh, it is more accurate, I think, or it is what a lot more lenders use. So it will give you an idea of how you stand, you know, uh, as far as your FICO score. On the next section here, I won't be embarrassed to share this. So for educational purposes, okay, this was how my uh, profile looked. So as far as payment history, I was at 100% because I do pay my credit cards uh, twice a month on auto pay also. So credit card use at this time was pretty high. It was 22%. And I had a derogatory remark, which is like a $116 collection uh, from Safego who did not actually record my last payment before I switched to Geico. So I'm still trying to really dispute that, but it's just taking so long. But as you can see, my credit was not perfect at that time. So my credit age, I don't know why it's just saying, uh, it's saying that it's only like one year and seven months. And I had uh, uh, 10 total accounts. That's not much, you know, compared to other people. And I had four inquiries at that time also. So, knowing that my credit profile was not really perfect at that time, if this was another bank, I was pretty sure that I may have a problem or I may not get approved. But with Navy Federal, surprisingly, to my surprise, Navy Federal trusted me enough to give me a credit limit of 25000 with only a 9.65 APR. Now that's that's pretty good for a credit card. And not to mention, I was a new member at that time, barely three months old. And that's the reason why I have so much faith and I so appreciate being a member and I will be using a lot of their products soon. So here is the card when I received it for the first time. And it just made me wonder, you know, I did it. Yes, I did it after midnight, you know, being aware that there is a midnight hack. But on the other hand, it also makes me think that maybe it's more the relationship that I tried to build beforehand before I applied. So there is also that aspect, you know. And for me, personally, I really believe that it's because... I have established a relationship first before I tried to uh, apply for the card. You know, I have all the savings, I have the uh, certificates going on, a pledged loan and direct deposit at the same time. So that may have played a very big role on why they have trusted me with that credit limit being a very new member. After I would say maybe about three to four weeks of being approved for the cash rewards card, I also opened a business account. I think that was around October. I had to wait a few days for that. And I think Navy Federal was doing their due diligence of like checking, you know, how my business is uh, because they ask for all that information. And again, you know, possibly checking how my business was set up and checking everything with the Secretary of State, confirming that all those information are there and legit. 
they are indeed very sensitive to high risk businesses. And from what I understand, it's mostly businesses like uh, credit repair and CBD that they're usually a little iffy about. My business account was approved and um, I, I received a call from a rep. So we did the setup right over the phone. The one on the phone took a little bit of time because they were checking things and asking me questions and then they had to check it again. But finally, I was approved. I funded that business account from funds from my other business account with another bank. So I deposited that amount and, uh, you know, just kept making deposits every week from my other company and uh, both on the checking and saving side. And then two weeks after my business checking and savings account was set up, I went on ahead and went on to the portal and the business application for cards usually is done on the portal, not on the app. So that's what I did. And, you know, it just said after I filled up all the information, after I did the application, uh, it just said that, you know, it is under underwriting. Now, this one, for some reason, took, I would say, about a week and a half before I got a response. And before that happened, I received an email saying that they wanted to uh, talk to me over the phone to kind of verify my identity and, you know, to check whether it was really me who was applying for the business card because I did place a fraud alert on all my three, uh, on all three credit bureaus because something happened, you know, months before that. So I had a fraud alert, but for some reason, Navy Federal called it uh, a, cred a, a freeze but I did not really freeze my uh, my accounts with the credit bureaus. But anyway, that was able to confirm that was me. They asked me personal details about my accounts and stuff like that. So I was finally, what they called it, verified. After I was verified, I had to wait a few days again. So I just totally forgot about it and then... One day, I opened my email, and there it was, and it said that, congratulations, you got approved for 15000 and that uh, the card is on the way. So here it is, my business credit visa, uh, the GoBiz uh, rewards card from Navy Federal for 15000 So again, I really think that it is the relationship that I've already had with Navy Federal on the personal side that they trusted me with uh, this kind of limit amount, you know, for for my new business. So as far as the midnight hack, I know that there were people who were approved for very high limits. And maybe it may have been because they've been with Navy Fed uh, Federal for so long. And so Navy, Navy Federal trusted them with large amounts. But Personally, I really still believe that it is the relationship that was uh, established before I, you know, uh, tried to apply for uh, for the products and for the credit cards. And they trusted me with that. So Navy Federal is really different. It takes, cares, uh, of, takes care of its members. And it's just amazing. My experience with them has been very, has been very good. So there it is, my personal experience with Navy Federal doing the midnight hack because I did really try to do it after midnight, you know. And I was approved doing it, you know, after midnight. But uh, overall, I really believe that Navy Federal does recognize relationships. And that's what they're for. They're a credit union and they understand its members' needs and they're just there, uh, there to make sure that, you know, their members will have the support that they need. So again, thank you. Thank you so much. My appreciation for my 48 subscribers as of this video. And for the ones that will be subscribing, I also thank you very much. So anyway, have a wonderful day.